Hello everyone, welcome to another Recycled Crafts with me, Miss Echo. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really fun little bee bank. So you can start saving some summer monies. Alright, so to make this craft, you will need a jar or a wide-mouthed water bottle, like a sports drink bottle or something like that, that's already clean and with the label removed. You'll need a piece of paper for decorating, some tape, a workspace that you don't mind getting dirty, um, a pipe cleaner for some antenna, scissors, a pencil, and then any colors that you want to make your bank. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a bumblebee, but you can make any kind of bug. And then a knife for cutting out a slit in the plastic. So, um, Please, please, please always have an adult do any of the sharp cutting of anything. However, if you cannot have an adult with you, you do not need to create a slit for the mouth. You can always just put money in via the jar lid itself. So I will show you how to make this, but please have an adult do this kind of cutting because it's very sharp and you can hurt yourself if you are too hasty with the knife. So we're going to get started. So what we're going to do is first you want to take your piece of paper and using your jar to measure out how much paper you're going to need, you want to roll the paper all the way around the jar until it meets. So a trick to see where you need to line is if you hold it up into the light, you can see the line of where the other paper was. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave myself about a half an inch. It doesn't have to be straight. You're just drawing the line so that way you know where to cut. Um, so now I know that this is exactly how long I need my paper to be. So I'm gonna cut along this line. So we're gonna keep this other piece of paper to the side. Um, so now we see that it's too long. So I'm going to fold my paper in half, hot dog style, like this. And see, so now it's about the size that we need it to be. So I'm going to cut down that crease. All right, and I know it's still a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna trim a little bit more off the side. Okay, so now is the fun part. We're going to do our decorating of our bumblebee. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw two yellow lines. Like this. I guess you could give it as many stripes as you want, but I'm going to do just two yellow and one black. So then you just color in these sections. The top. Oh, this pipe cleaner is getting in my way. All right. I'm not going to do it all completely just to show you um, something on the B once we finish it. All right, so feel free to take as long as you want doing this part if you want to add other things like stickers or glitter or different colors. You can. It's all up to you. It's your bank, after all. All right, so then I'm going to color in this middle bit with black. And it doesn't need to be perfect either. So now we have this piece colored in and ready to go. So this is the tricky part with cutting into this jar to create a slit for the money to go into. This jar is really hard to do any kind of cutting on the bottom because it's just reinforced. So I'm going to do it on the side. This is my handy little knife. Um, if you use like a kitchen knife, you can do that too. 
So I'm just gonna put it on the ground and then I just make one little slit across that way. All right, so now I have this little hole and I'm gonna go in with my scissors and just kind of cut around to make it a bit larger um, for a coin to be able to fit. All right. So again, definitely have adult supervision for that because um, this plastic can get really sharp. And also knives are very, very sharp. You don't want to get hurt. Okay, so now we have this hole right here that will match up um, with our paper once we add our paper on. So what we're gonna do is, if you wanna make it the mouth, like I did, what I did was I lined up where the hole is onto the paper, and then I just kind of drew a line from where I think it'll uh, match up. And then to cut this, fold the paper on the line, and then use my scissors to cut along this line. All right, so now I have this hole and we're gonna start attaching our paper to our bank. So I've lined it up right where the, the hole is to put the money and I'm just going to tape the paper that I've already colored onto the jar. So making sure that this is all lined up, I'm gonna put tape on this side and I'm gonna tape the whole thing down just like that. And then making sure it's nice and tight all the way around. Oops, this lid keeps coming open on me. All right, so now I'm gonna line this up and tape it down on this side. You can use glue as well if you want. Um, I just like using tape because it's a little bit faster and a little less messy for me. So, all right, there we go. So now we have our B, um, our B body. So I'm going to decorate, I'm gonna make this look like a smiley face as much as I can. Oops, it looks like it slid down a little bit. That's okay, I can always fix it later. All right. There's the smile. Here are my two eyeballs. And then we need some wings. So we take the scrap of paper and you gotta make sure that you can see it on both sides of the B if you hold it behind it. We're gonna fold this in half, and then we're going to draw our wings. So I really just drew kind of a heart, a really big heart. And then you cut out the wings. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Of course. Okay, so now we have our wings, hooray. What we can do is you can decorate your wings however you wish. Um, you can outline them like I did on this one so you can see it better. Um, and to do that, you just use your um, base paper that you don't mind getting dirty and then just draw along the outer edge of the wings and it's okay if you go over because you're not getting anything else dirty it's just this piece of paper that you'll throw away all right so then here we go we're almost done and then I like to draw one line down the middle so that way you can see the two different wings okay so now we're gonna tape the wings to the back of the bee Again, you can use glue if you want. 
but tape is just as easy. Ta-da! Okay, so now we're just missing one more thing, right? We're missing the antenna. So I'm gonna take this pipe cleaner and fold it in half like that. And then to create the little knot at the top, I'm going to wrap the pipe cleaner around this pencil until it's pretty short like that. And then I'm gonna do it to the other side, like that. And then we're just gonna tape this onto the head. All right, ta-da! Now you have yourself a bee bank and once you collect any money if you find it in the couch you just stick it right in there and then whenever you're ready to collect all of your money you just unscrew the lid at the bottom so i hope that you enjoyed this craft today and uh come back again next week for another recycled craft have a great day